What's up, Dog Pound? Nathan Zagura here with the Tuesday edition of the Browns. Some of the Browns will be hopeful to have Tashawn Gibson with his ankle injury back at practice tomorrow, as well as Craig Robertson, who was apparently close to being able to play against the St. Louis Rams. We'll hopefully have more updates on Joe Hayden, who was in the concussion protocol as of yesterday, but hope the team is hopeful he can be back for this game against the Arizona Cardinals. This is today's Tuesday edition. We're going to kind of get into the game again, and we're going to talk about combination blocking and run blocking on the offensive line. Now you're going to see a lot of this from the Cleveland Browns. They'll start off with a double team at one level, whether it be a center and a guard, a guard and a tackle. They double team one guy right at the point of the tack, and then the inside guy, typically, let's say it's the center and the guard, the center can either go and get to the next level and get the middle linebacker. Once they have the double team secure, you'll see on the run from Robert Turbin. It's the center and guard double teaming, and then the guard goes up into the second level and picks off the linebacker, and Mitchell Schwartz seals on the outside. Now, sealing's important because it opens up the big lane, as you see this one with Robert Turbin get through here. Mitchell Schwartz seals, you get the combo blocks in front, the fullback fills the hole, and the lane opens up for Robert Turbin. Now, you also want to seal on the backside of things, and you saw Isaiah Crowell's touchdown, the 11-yard run. He started off to the left, but they walled off the backside, and he was able to slip back around and get into the end zone for a touchdown. This Browns offensive line is very mobile, and so that's what they try to do in the run blocking game is take advantage of that mobility. You use the upfield rush of the outside guys against them, wall them off, create running lanes, and then the mobility is for the athletes that you have, especially in the interior of this offensive line, especially Joel Batonio, Alex Mack, John Greco. Use those double teams. Get them set and then get off and get to the second level and pick up that running that linebacker. That allows the running back to really kind of get those 8 to 10 yard runs. And if they can make a guy miss, well then they can be gone like we saw Robert Turbin with the 22 yarder against the St. Louis Rams. So keep an eye on that next time you watch the Browns on offense. You'll see that combo block at the point of attack and then one peel off and get to the next level and try to open up those big running lanes for the Cleveland Browns. That'll do it for today's edition of the Browns Huddle. Keep it tuned to cleanbrowns.com and the Browns mobile app for the latest on your Browns. 